Oy, 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 oy. Now I have to figure out how to mess this up even more. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. And Let's mess up everything all well. the time. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Sorry, I got, I, got, I was reading a chat. <laughs> not watching where I was can. going. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. How many ways can I mess this up? Like, I wonder if I do that one again. If... Um... What are you guys even talking about? And so he detoured through the maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Mm -hmm. No, Jack. Oh, see a dead dude. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Or 90 strings? Uh, Coming like I think I slightly remember Crystal Pepsi. Like I don't. Office. It sounds super familiar. I I did grow up in the in the nineties, so. Oh God damn it! I wanted to. Uh. I wanted to do. How did I get there? Get last time. How did I get there last time? Oh. I'm restarting. I want to do this one. Is either high or drunk. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, I'm not even sure what's going on. I can't wait on. to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? I like how it does different dialogue sometimes. When Stanley came to a set of two open it doors, was he entered the door on his left. This one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't have night bot. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5,000. Do not jump. <laughs> I didn't even see those last time. That's awesome. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm normal. <laughs> I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, you missed that. I did that at the very beginning. Stanley. I'll probably redo that because I know there's another option to. Please. At the very end, you pick one or the other, and I picked one. I'm not asking for me. And it was. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To so put I'm your work aside, trying to. I want to get to back to the office. Back into your life. She's been waiting. That's her, Stanley. You need. Oh no 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 no! You can't. <laughs> did you just unplug the phone? She just unplugged the phone. That wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Do you actually on choose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let no. me double check. Chico is one of those people who will click on the clock on it picks up the phone. without thinking. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to get back to that because it's a Music different office. In, fade to white, will credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. Mm. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? 
What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not mm. possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You no, understand. you're not going out. You're a real person. <sighs> <laughs> he just gave me this look. I can't believe I'm <laughs> He just so glared mistaken. at me. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game. When is the last time Jiko even, uh, <laughs> last week? I think my OBS was not. Oh, that's so much better. I like to see in time plus lag. Reason. For a moment, so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Oh. It's the best part of being Back a real person. Crack. But Back if used Jack incorrectly, Black. it can also be the most dangerous. For example, Back in this scenario, Jack. a hypothetical <laughs> real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember hmm. that unlike here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that hey, does Coco, not conform do to rational <laughs> logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does uh, not make like sense, in all likelihood, <laughs> that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice no. saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to my be having goodness. a bad is it four? crack. I'm supposed to be having a back second. <laughs> I can't do that with a straight face. Excellent. That's hilarious. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at Stop least it. eight choices per day. Do you make more than no. eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember. That in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Yeah. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that I'm this has it. begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. I fractured his kit. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> what an idiot. What's that from? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction well, gets Nobody else. <laughs> Jackie! It seems this place no. is not well equipped to deal with Don't reality. yell at me. <laughs> You're gonna back talk me? It's back talking me. Don't back talk me. No. Alright, so if I remember, it's a different office. Harry Potter reference? Really? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have Wait, resolution where? once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. All right. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. This is how I get to the back when to that Stanley loop. When came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Do you realize that you're arguing with a cat? 
Not just a cat. No! My Why cat. Do do Quickly. <laughs> Jack Hurry knows what's up. Direction. Perhaps we're not too late. He knows that I'm arguing with him. He understands. That's why he's using that pathetic meow, huh? Can I please go out? No, you cannot. I said a Harry Potter reference. I don't remember. Sometimes they just come out. Oh, that's right, it, it refreshes and then, okay, I remember. No. Yes. Don't you hear him meowing at me? <laughs> oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you, my story, <laughs> you've destroyed my work. Why? You're what? welcome. What it was terrible. That? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be what? worth it? And to know idiot. That my story <laughs> ah, is yeah. <laughs> to that. I can't really Sometimes it just comes out. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility. That's what I was trying. I was like, what is that from? Uh... Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I No, I have to. I have to shut oh, the game Oh, see you, Coco. I have to. I have to. I have to turn on my light already. I guess if I have to turn on my light, I can not let you out. Set everything just right. Okay. Okay. You can log in out. <laughs> yeah, girl everywhere. <laughs> That's I. I want that on my grave. Girl everywhere. <laughs> No, I just, just clicked out of stuff. That one was me. Oh, that is so much better. I need a big desk. So I don't have to make shift one <laughs> out of a canvas. It's actually not that bad. All right. this pile of rubbish with you you who thought you were so clever now look where we are i don't have a sandwich so you're game screwed it was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground what did you think that you can't do fun? all of those at once you just Coco. had to see there's too many people in here <laughs> was to be like stanley he it was hard to do what i tell him to he Ugh. understands that if i say to do something there's a damn good no. reason for it that thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, uh -oh. How My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. Nobody, I'll run so it. I'll go through again uh, so the hard. way the narrator wants me to. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. I need one of those. Um... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I wanted to see what would happen. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. 
Beer tastes like crap. Depends on what like beer. That means like I have tasted with them. And always putting the story I first. had. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just for like my Bud Light wine. Be fine. Like that, really right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door really he the cheap door on his stuff. left. Then it's just gonna taste like yeasty, no! sparkling stuff. No. Why did you do that? Quickly. Yeast Hurry. mixed with sparkling uh, water. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. I'm going to keep on doing this until you guys tell me to stop. Stanley that means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be able guys to have task. to know my Just will is strong. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> when Stanley came hey, to the two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No. Nope. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. I thought you were leaving, Coco. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure Just go to the, to the left. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> I had to. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the Tell door Tell her to stop. <laughs> no! I ha it has to be to a point where I start to get weary. <laughs> it will be a while. Exactly as Stanley would. That I want to know if this is something you can get past. Putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be able to task. Because man was forever doing this one. All right. And we gave up. We <laughs> just told him no. <laughs> just go right. I mean left. No! Why did you do that? I'm just going to okay. go right. Hurry. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Why I guess go to the left? Uh, uh, black the you first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> I want to know Stanley if you can get past this. Two open doors. He entered the door on his left. <laughs> and then I go into. To the, I didn't forgot that was even a no! song. No. Why did you do that? Quickly, <laughs> hurry. Don't give in like I did. I want to. <laughs> uh, eventually. No, I. <laughs> uh, okay. No, I'm not broken yet. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I just wish because this is boring. You're not no. watching the. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Uh, do I want to know your real name? He's behaving exactly as Stanley. Not. That means really? Responsibly I mean, if you want to tell me, <laughs> you're I'm pretty dead set on it. The task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. It's supposed no! to be... Why did you do that? Quickly. Like, I feel like it's something you can get past. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. But I'm irresponsible. I'm sure be strong. Don't let him win. Just I'm afraid I'm going to lose the fine. watchers. Right. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two oh, well. doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why so, did you're, that? so that means you're the only one allowed. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Madeline? Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? <laughs> Quickly, hurry. I said bye like forever ago, it's Coco. Exactly That's why I asked. Standard. I thought you were leaving. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered See, the Don door knows. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Quickly. This isn't as hurry. bad as 
I think I could go for a while. Exactly as Stanley would. I've got my phone right here. I've got Pepsi. How long do you think I can do this? So <laughs> I can do this for a long time. <laughs> Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I already said bye, no. Coco. Why did you do that? Quickly, <laughs> hurry. I said it within what I said. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly Yay. and always Yay. putting the story I actually first. think I know I'm that I'm sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I feel like right. I might know one. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he what is that? the door on his left. What is that, Del? No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Unless he asked. He exactly asked. exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing right, responsibly what it is. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. God, I just need food and I'd be okay with doing this all day. <laughs> If I can simultaneously do my homework, I actually don't have any homework. I'm quite sure it's not true. I need to read a part of the book. My lead and you'll be fine. I was all ahead right. in all my classes. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open Already. doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be What behind. is it? All right. <clears throat> I know, but what is it? Came to a set of two open doors, I don't want to exit out of my game just to click on it. Because <laughs> I'd have to exit no! out of my game. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Is behaving exactly nope. as Stanley would. You can simultaneously do it. Responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All I right. shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> to a I don't have any homework. I have a three, four day weekend because I don't have school on, fr on Fridays. Because no. I don't even know do what a holiday I... is Monday. But they said it's a holiday. It's behaving so we don't have to go. Stanley would. One and less day of writing class. I don't first. have to go to I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> the horse when has been Stanley overly came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't want to watch that. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Ooh, I don't want to watch that. It's behaving exactly as Stanley would. That means I don't want to. And always putting the story first. <laughs> I know how to get out of the game, the <laughs> guys. Yeah, I have to take a writing class. Set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Because, like, that's the equivalent to English no! is basically writing papers. <laughs> Here, write stupid papers about stupid it's stuff. <laughs> That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to My the first task. assignment is to do a fine. restaurant All review. Right. <clears throat> so when Stanley stupid. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the I think the they door put me in the wrong left. class. You wouldn't let me no! get any other classes. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Yeah, I have to do right. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly. Like I can do. I love all my other classes. Hey. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead. Including and math. I actually enjoy right. my math class. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two weird. open doors, he I hate the door on like his I don't mind English. Like I, I, I get it, and I, I just don't like hate writing papers. No. Why did you do that? That I don't. Quickly. Hurry. I'm not interested in. <laughs> if I don't have an interest in it. Stanley would. I hate it with a passion. Felicia is an English major, so sure you'll be up to the she task. knows how to do like Just all that my lead and you'll like be fine. gothic lit or whatever. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mardi no! Gras? Why did you do that? Quickly. I always I... wanted to go to Mardi Gras. 
is behave exactly as Stanley would. One time, and then I think I'll be already brought out. <laughs> or putting the story first. Watch from afar. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and Guys, I could fine. go forever. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of This is a good time for me to catch up with you guys. Enter the door on his left. Sorry, I haven't been on for a couple of days. Well, no! why did you do that? Quickly, what days is it? It's Monday and Tuesday. Three Thursday Wednesday. <laughs> exactly as Stanley would. That yep. means Monday is right. Monday and putting the story Wednesday. First. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. No. Right. <clears throat> what days are my uh, English Stanley classes? Came to a set of two open it's doors. Tuesday. It's Tuesday and left. Thursday. Wednesday. No, it's not. What days are my English classes? No, I'm... It... no. Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite Felicia sure you'll be up my to friend, the task. Felicia. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. She's All actually right. been on the stream a couple of when times. When Stanley came She's to a sad. set of two open doors, really he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly. Yeah, Felicia's days, my friend. I didn't want to tell you guys. Exactly as She's light and tame. That saying means that. choosing responsibly <laughs> and always putting to the story first. To be I'm secret. quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open I doors, I'm literally doodling. <laughs> no. Make stream Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry. Wait, get Felicia to play Diablo. She doesn't have a computer. Exactly That's why I'm I want to give my extra parts to her. I already have um, the story first. my old uh, sure video card she's going to have and monitor. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley so, came to a set of two open I think there was like another part. He entered the door on his left. I think that's it. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Felicia stole your birthday. That's right, you guys have the same birthday. Exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open go doors, the he entered the door on his left. Was are you leaving? So uh, have you been here the whole no. time? <laughs> Quickly, hurry. I don't think there's an end to this. Like, I, I could go on forever. Like, I have no problem. But I don't want this to be boring. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Just took that from mine. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! There's a weird chat going on right now. Let's see. He came in a weird spot. Is behaving hey, exactly as Stanley going. would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. It's been boring. Yeah. I, no! That's the only reason why, why I would. I could probably what do this forever out by myself. This isn't boring. <laughs> Take this glitter. <laughs> Take it to someone with glitter. <laughs> Let me just do that. <laughs> when I run by there just next time, I'll definitely take fine. it there. All right. You know, mm -hmm. stop by there once, once twice a week. Doors, Maybe three times if I'm feeling saucy. <laughs> no. Why did you this do is that? just more entertaining Quickly. than you have ever received. I love it. I love this game. This is a really good game. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Just go right. to the left. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, came I, to I'm probably just going to go to the left just for the sake the of door on his left. you guys. <laughs> I could go on forever. <laughs> like, I have no... Like... Uh, <laughs> it just feels like I'm giving up. But I, I know I could go on forever. I'll just go. I was hoping that. All right. Well, at least there's another thing at the end of this yeah, that I can go. Yeah, not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, All right, see you, Soda. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office 
Hoping he might find an answer There's one there. more thing I could do. See, look, you Come can't even go downstairs in this one. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The bathroom isn't an option. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was oh, once again stunned here. to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated oh, this here. until he saw the door with a, in voice a good receiver way. Next I, I mean, not in the best way Surely possible. Behind because this weird. door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Why am was I? Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been told <laughs> to speak up, but now Same team. he would draw Nobody. from himself the courage <laughs> to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Well. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Is Night there no way I can speak it? One one five. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the I code can't. into the receiver. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. What was it? Something zero one one? I don't know. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you had better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I couldn't. If you didn't want to see what I had I was to hoping you, I could. Did you come here? You had a I have to redo this whole you thing. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over the there. The hell you, you wanted. <laughs> speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two... I really do like this game. <laughs> That's really one of my favorite games. <laughs> Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. <laughs> and now it's all different. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and um. left. I'm trying to think of another way. Obviously, there's lots of ways to do this, but... Oh, yeah, I wanted to... Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Click all the things! There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. There's something here. To still be here. No, there is a reason. <laughs> it was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, what he'd be just going on in my survey. chat. As it is, he's <laughs> literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? <laughs> Standing around doing nothing. Well, mm -hmm. please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. I'm genuinely confused. There's something. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring <laughs> it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally 
This closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. What? Obviously, ever. it is because they're talking about. It. It. There's something in here, or you're gonna make it a thing. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, I have, like cat did hair. you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly. I heard drugs for four summer than the chat. He probably got the job because of a family <laughs> connection. Like That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another <laughs> human to take their place at the computer, making sure the they computer. understand basic first-person video game mechanics and <laughs> fill in the on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I'm waiting for him to say something else. I don't think he's going to say anything else. Happy ending. <laughs> Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I love this. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. The broom is my favorite. <laughs> okay, there has to be something in this bathroom. How much is the thing? You guys are so weird. Are you gonna say something? No. Ooh. Hey, look, there's the panda one. What do you say? Yeah, only one beard building. It's a t oh, the narrator is listening to. I have like a zillion buildings.
He's gonna straight up start singing. College, yeah. <laughs> at college, yeah. I said at school. Yeah. All right, what is going on in, in my uh, chat? I'm getting severely weirded out. <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. Was that really what I had to do? What? No. Your chat is deceased. Just crazy as all heck, though. No. I am determined to leave this floor, and I will leave it. No! <laughs> we must put it down. What's behind here? I was hoping to get somewhere else, dicks. <laughs> I mean the the game. The moment he entered his manager's right, office, hair. Stanley froze in his tracks. You know I'm, we I'm weird. Yeah. Soul anyway. With like hair just Could tickling really my nose this whole time. This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, <laughs> half sobs. The guttural <laughs> retching of life from a man denied any hope, uh. any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone. Paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour, but when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. No. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. Two eight. Four five. Statistically, nearly impossible to guess blindly ever. Stand yet incredibly by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad. Well, Stand gotta do this anyway. Input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. <laughs> Chat cleared them all. <laughs> I can't see anything, but I feel like I really can't see anything. That was hurting my eyes. <laughs> Seven AM what? Thank that that chat was weird. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. See you, Soda. 
the lights rose on an enormous All right, room. So I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna turn on the horrible secret did this the place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I will find every door that opens in this damn place. And I will take it. <laughs> Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each their true the nature. Of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this oh, time? Oh, no! Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind uh. to the world? But he utterly was blind? The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad. Or content, walking, eating, mm. working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Is there a zero here? Zero five. I don't think there's a zero button. One, two. Chico's playing Arma. Dick. I'm just kidding. When at last he found the source of the room's... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? Yes. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take <laughs> control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Yes. <laughs> oh, Stanley. I applaud your effort. I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Is Chico even a monster? I don't even know. Go, turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, Shit. nuclear detonators are set to explode, He's eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You <laughs> are the star. It's your story now. We have to go Shed one, two, three, four, five. Desires. Shit. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me. Where we're we going. One. What all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. That's five. Anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. 
I turned off the machine and I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Whenever it's supposed to go in it, sequence of I one, two, three, four. I simply let you sit there in your office five. forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be Shit. even better. <laughs> uh, Alright, one, two, three. Shut up, 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 shut up. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why yes. Not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? <laughs> or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen <laughs> to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One yes. Soul? All right, there has to be something in this room. What your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. That maniacal laugh. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That Damn it! That's a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you Oi. can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Nope. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? <laughs> Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And Good boy. I will be laughing Four, at every second of your inevitable life. Two, seven? That's not even a seven button. I, I would have actually probably clicked right. that. <laughs> Who's asking? No, I don't just give it away. They, the people who became mods were here for very, for a very consistent amount of time, and they monitored chat to make sure everything. All of his coworkers were gone. Smoothly. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Did it really just... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. Who's gonna say here for a See if he says anything. Yeah, they were around my first viewers. And they just stayed around. Ada. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. <laughs> the room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Mm-hmm. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room <laughs> is creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. It's because I like to sit around in the place. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. You must have refreshed the page, uh, Lizzie. These look really pretty. I really like these earrings.
Is he gonna say something else? Oy, fine. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. Oy. And took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Okay. Alright, so I wanted to really see if there really was something in that room. Stanley was like, so maybe it was bugged on my side. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I also wanted to see if in that blue pill I could play. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone if I could else do... is difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. This one. It. Let me prove that I'm on your side. This Give one. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Mm -mm. This one. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley, all right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? Ah, oh, thank you, There's John. nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map Hi. because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed. I'm going to see if textures. I can play through the other wanted? doors. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it because was all I for did. nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? The you want to see? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. The heck? It's the same room. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even a one. Helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. It still goes to the. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some play testing. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I was hoping you wouldn't do this. Ugh. I don't want to go through this one again. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful yeah, game, all about the desperation and tedium of They're endlessly going to go in there. the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. The art world. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes. I wonder if anybody actually did play this for four hours. I really want to know. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Save the baby because for four you hours. Hate babies or purely to spite me. <laughs> because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the I wouldn't have the same <laughs> I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's Click over. the button. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely I want to see valuable. if there's anything else okay, I can branch off from this, so though. Why don't we play someone else's game, just to ease the pain? 
Let's see. What do we have here? Well, I don't want to play this again then. And because it's just gonna play Portal and um, Minecraft. Wee! Alright. All of his co workers were gone. I plan on trying to open every Stanley single door. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wah! <laughs> Fingers got just a smidge bit faster. If it says something on it, then it most likely opens. I mean, not numbers, other, I mean. When Stanley came to a set of two <laughs> open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, I played it er earlier. Sorry, uh, tough. We, we got there, I was hoping I could get to a different ending, but there wasn't. I'm gonna try every single door until it opens. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Is there any other side one to go to this one? This one's the one with the loop. Have you played Bioshock Infinite on Steam yet? It's so good. I haven't, not yet. Uh, Chico actually got that one for me. I haven't played that one. Stepping into his I'm pretty office, much screwed. Was once again uh... Is there? There's not really a different option to this. I know there has to be other. Uh... All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. I will find the trace. <laughs> now it's like, fuck this game. No, I still love this game. I'm just, right now, I'm, my thought process is I want a different ending. Because right now I've been running into the same one. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Trying to think of all the ones. There's more options if I go this, was this not way. This the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Like, I don't... I kind of want to go back into that room. I think it Stanley might have been so bugged. Bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. And talk to the... But I feel like maybe it's the same ending Stanley, and you have to exit out. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Just do achievement sure runs. I have to exit out see. I just don't know how to get to those achievements. I don't want to cheat. Because I think I've only gotten maybe one or two achievements. But I feel like there should have been a couple of them. Like I... This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside 
to let her back into your life. I think I've She's gotten one for waiting. for jumping off. Some of them, they're impossible to get. Well, some of them are impossible. That's her, Ooh, I don't you even know what they are. Do this, Let's see if I can reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Bike. Do I have an achievement list on my app? No. I can just, if it doesn't work, I can just exit out. At least I know that's a thing. The fresh bread is a okay, lie. There we go. All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? Can I go down that hall? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. Where did I'm that to hall? get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No. Sorry. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> not expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting a wall in front of my face. <laughs> this is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. <laughs> Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands <laughs> him of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature <laughs> of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his so much worse. his boss, everyone in the building, had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. The, the commands are coming faster, and I'm so wondering if it he was. Further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely <laughs> even I wasn't expecting the wall in my face. <laughs> was almost too it's a mannequin. To it's my wife. Apparently. Through this yeah, it was bug last time. It wouldn't actually go. With the commands slowed. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and so I haven't done this one. And down another was they tried to do this earlier, but they, the commands they, they took like a minute to get to and then it, they and stopped. The and they didn't roll. change this. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? It's slowly be? turning into In my reality, office. All he's doing no! Is the same as he always has. Nothing has changed. Is the longer something? he spends here, the more invested Late he gets. Days? The more he forgets which hate life Mondays. Is the new one. What is going on? And I'm trying to tell him this that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. 
Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Something to do! You see, can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand? Case of the Monday. <laughs> he's electing to kill himself. Yeah. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Maybe this and I tried time. Again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Was that it? Just slowly killed myself. Does he have an achievement? Oh wait, Steam achievements? No. Um. Achievements. No, okay, yeah, just go. Uh, how late are you streaming tonight? Uh, what time is it? Probably for like another 15 minutes. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably stream All later. Co -workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is what? this Stanley's office? What did he say? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. <laughs> I love that. It was okay. But so disappointed to get in back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I don't remember what was down there. What's down there? Let's go. I don't. I don't remember if there was a. I don't remember. We did this pretty early. Yeah, I'm not. Stanley don't. He didn't want to go back to the office. Um, he wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Um. Uh, oh, this is the. I know what one this is. That was the the line one. I don't think I I th I feel like I've done. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was <laughs> only a matter of time. I feel like I've done them all. Like I know I haven't. Came to a set of two open but doors. I feel like I he have. The door on his left. I wonder if I... <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs Someone to his boss's office. So downstairs, that's the endless loop. This one up here is... I want to see if you can do anything with this. It's a panda. I, I did this earlier, but I... oh, see ya, Don. I don't know what's been up with my chat lately. Everybody just wants to be the weirdest ever. It's cool. I still like people in the chat. Oh. Yeah, 
I'll probably end at nine. Nine-ish. No. There has to be something. Hey, one of my friends is playing at Diablo 3. I just want to go somewhere else. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Hey, look. There's the... That one painting. Uh, Alright. Well, there's not really anything I can do because it's just gonna make me go to the mind control area. Discover not an indication of any I didn't let it... What could it mean, he wondered. Desperate for answers, he began turning the room over looking for clues that might unravel the situation. Until at last, he discovered a keypad behind the boss's desk. But alas... See, no now I'm about to this, this part where... this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried to eight, below four, one. his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight... Four, five. Oh, for five. Of course, Close. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley simply began entering random codes <laughs> into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was two, eight, four, five, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. I'm just gonna do it until it's like... Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the